What's your name, city residence, and item number? Um, I'm Samantha Olney. I'm an unhoused resident in Worcester. I'm here to support item 10 DD. Um, here today is a representative of the unhoused community and the director of HALO to advocate for the establishment of a sanctioned encampment with on site services for unhoused individuals in our city. <coughs> the current approach of conducting sweeps not only fails to address the root causes of homelessness, but it also causes irreparable damage and the harm to the very people it's supposed to be helping. It is evident that the current policy, including the handling of personal belongings and the involvement of law enforcement with a history of strained, relation, strained relations with the unhoused, is not achieving the intended outcomes. The city's current approach to homelessness is not only ineffective, but exacerbates the hardship faced by individuals experiencing homelessness. Their strategy of displacing people from one area only shifts the problem to another property owner, cre creating a perpetual cycle of despair. With inadequate rooms and shelters and lack of essential services, those forcibly displaced find themselves without vi a viable alternative. The destructive nature of these sweeps not only erases whatever semblance of stability individuals manage to create, but also thrusts them back to square one, perpetuating the cycle of homelessness and jail. This relentless rinse and repeat cycle falls to fails to address the individuals, no, fails to address the root causes of homelessness and provides no real solutions for those struggling. Moreover, when individuals are placed in alternative locations such as shelters or rooming houses, etc., they often encounter arbitrary and unrealistic rules that set them up for failure, hindering any potential progress. It is time for the city to acknowledge the futility of this approach and embrace more compassionate and effective solutions, such as the proposed sanction encampment, which aims to break this vicious cycle and offer a genuine path towards recovery and stability. Across the country, state sanctioned encampments have been presented, have presented a viable and humane alternative to sweeps. We propose a model that offers stability and a sense of safety and community to unhoused individuals. Our proposal includes the implementation of on-site jobs, creation of programs to collaborate with businesses and to provide employment opportunities, access to essential services such as bathrooms, showers, cooking facilities, and secure storage for residents. To address the multifaceted needs of the unhoused population, we plan to incorporate comprehensive services including security, legal aid, case management, medical, and mental health teams. Each department of the encampment should offer those on-site jobs in, form, in the form of internships or apprenticeships, or apprenticeships to empower residents uh, and foster personal growth and professional growth. We firmly believe that residents should play a pivotal role in the encampment's success by adhering to established rules um, completing daily tasks and holding one another accountable. Individuals can contribute to creating a thriving community. Our goal is to provide an environment where residents can learn and grow and eventually transition to indoor living and become produ productive members of society. We also want to strive to heal relationships and connections with residents in the community and the unhoused individuals who live in the city as well. A community in Canada built a coffee shop and a print workshop to help the um, the encampment community self-sustaining and give residents usable job skills and a sense of community. While the city asserts that tents are not fit for human habitation, we argue that the immediate and effective solutions are lacking. The proposed sanction encampment is a fast and feasible option that addresses the urgency of the situation and offers flexibility of living structures. Today it could be tents, but as time passes and community flourishes, cabins, tiny houses, and other structures could be built to replace tents as they have in other communities around the country. Communities have responded favorably to sanction camps in other states as crime surrounding these, the crime rate surrounding these encampments has decreased. In Colorado, uh, it reports that encampment communities in one year, a crime had dropped and no arrests had been made within the encampment. Can you wrap up your comments, please? Yes. Um, as someone who's personally experienced homelessness daily, I can attest to the challenges and uncertainties that come with living on the streets. Having to find a safe place to sleep every night, a, dry place when it rains, access to shower, ability to wash and do laundry, uh, being discriminated against when shopping or trying to use the bathroom, and interacting with people in general can be overwhelming. Uh, some people do not have a year to wait for services, shelter, or housing. For some, being unhoused is a life or death situation, and we hope that you consider carefully this request, as it is our lives that are in your hands today. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker.